Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to use the C word to sell more of your stuff online, more of your products and services online or even offline as well. Recently, using a little bit of this C word, I was able to do 28K cash collected in a weekend with 3K of that ongoing for the next 11 months. And so I wanna share with you what this word is. It's, it's a bit of a strategy that you can start using and has really helped me make my offers and my messaging and my copies stronger and more profitable. Now, before I reveal what this C word is, I have a question for you. Which shirt would you rather have? You got two white dress shirts. Which one would you rather have? Well, it's actually the same shirt and the same brand and the same size and everything. So it would be tough. You wouldn't really care which shirt it was because it's the exact same shirt. And that segues nicely into me revealing what the C word is, which is contrast. So the more that you can use contrast in your offers and in your messaging and in your copy, the, the harder it's going to hit and the stronger it's going to perform. And so what I mean by this is and contrast is the difference between two things. And the more contrast that you have, the easier it is to tell which one you would rather have. So some examples of contrast, you have day versus night, you have left versus right, you have sun versus moon, and you might have a black shirt versus white. So I just held up two branded or same branded white shirts to you. And you wouldn't be able to tell me which one you would choose because they're the same exact shirt. You would, you might tell me whichever one's cheaper or whichever one's on a deal. So that's the way I want you to think about your offers as well. If you sound like everybody else and you don't have contrast in your, in your messaging and your copy and your offers, people are just going to pick whatever's lower priced or whatever's a better value. And so if I were to instead ask you, would you rather have this white shirt, this white dress shirt, or the black t-shirt I have on, now it's a lot easier to make a decision. Well, if it's summertime and you live in Hawaii, for example, which is where I'm from, I'd rather have the black shirt because I can walk outside with the shirt and it's an everyday shirt. If I'm going to a wedding, well, I might need a white shirt to put under a suit. And so now because of the contrast, because of the black short t-shirt versus the long sleeve white dress shirt, I'm able to make an easier decision. And I'm sure that's the same for you. So we want to try to use contrast as much as possible in our business, in our, our marketing, our sales, our offers, our messaging, our copy, our emails. Whenever we can use contrast, we use it. So let's show some examples. The first example is just the old plan versus the new plan. And so this is an example of that. You can see here, this is the old plan. 2018 to 2020, I had four to eight sales calls a day. The new plan is, well, 2021 to 2022, I have four calls a week only with clients. And to drive the point home, I even add a picture of my calendar, which is empty. And it used to be lit up like a Christmas tree, which is why I call it Christmas tree calendar. But there's contrast there. You can see clearly the old plan, which is what I used to do here, and the new plan, which is what I do now. So now I don't have any calls or sales calls on my calendar. I only have calls with clients who have already paid me for one of my different offerings. So this is the old plan versus the new plan. We're showing them what the old plan was, what we were doing before and what we're doing now. And because of that contrast from the old to the new, it's easy for someone to say, I want that too. Like that sounds like something I really could use in my life. So that is one method of using contrast is the old plan versus the new plan. And I, lo I love using these style posts. If you go to my LinkedIn and you look through, I, I do this in some capacity at least once a week. So love using this, this style of contrast. The second type of post that uses contrast that I like to use a lot is hate that, try this instead. So if I go here, it says the I hate sales calls campaign. If someone does not like sales calls and they wanna go away from sales calls because they don't like doing them, like me, well, there's contrast there. Going from hating sales calls and spending all your time doing it to not doing it at all and selling from emails, social posts, DM conversations, and a PDF or, or Google Doc. So now again, it's, it's kind of like the old plan, new plan, but now we're focusing on something they hate, which is the sales calls, and saying, here's a different way. Here's something else you should try. So that's the second example of a contrast style post. The hate that, try this instead. And this focuses on a present pain that they have or something that they hate doing that they're doing frequently. The third type of contrast post that I like using is imagine your new life. And all I'm really doing with this post is getting them to visually imagine a new and different life 
than what they have now. So how would it feel to sit down with your morning coffee, write a simple email or social post to get a handful of messages from folks wanting to work with you and enroll clients without having to jump on the phone. So now I'm painting a picture of their future life. And if they are not doing that right now, there's contrast there. It's like, well, right now I'm doing the opposite of that. I'm spending all of my time on the phone. I'm not sending out emails. I'm not making posts. And every day I start from scratch. I've been enrolling 2.9K to 12K clients every day this week doing just this. And I do zero hard selling or convincing because the people who reach out already know they want to work with me. Let me tell you, it's a lot more fun chatting it up with ready to go folks versus playing objection handling tug of war on the phone. Now, if you love the phone, by all means, have at it. But if getting big ticket clients without the phone, using simple content and chat combos sounds sexy to you, I'd love to show you how to get it popping ASAP. And then I go into the offer. And so I say, hey, if you like being on the phone, which is what you're doing now, and you don't care about having this new life that I'm painting a picture of for you, then keep doing what you're doing. I don't want to take you away from what's working. But if you do want this new life, which of course is contrasted from the, the old life or the current life, here's how I can help you. And here's what we would do together. So this posted extremely well for sales. And this is a style of imagine your new life and the new life. There's a lot of contrast between what they're doing now. So contrast, again, it's, it's the difference between two things and the more obvious it is, the better or the stronger it's going to be because people can easily see the difference. Again, the short sleeve black shirt versus the long sleeve white dress shirt. Maybe someone wants both and maybe they'll buy both. But if you want people to make a decision easier when they're comparing you to other people and comparing you to other offers and messaging, you need to have contrast and start using this a lot more because these style posts where you have clear contrast in there do the best for sales. I also love doing this with customer testimonials. I'll paint a picture of their their old life, their before. Then I paint a picture of their after, where they are now and what they did to go from before to after. And then I invite people to join me if they want to do the same thing. It's very prevalent in the weight loss space too. You see the before and after pictures. There's contrast there. So start using contrast more in your writing and your offers and your marketing and sales in every area of your business. When you're trying to convince people to do things or to convince them to do something with you, use contrast, very powerful persuasion technique or whatever you want to call it. And will help you to differentiate between everybody else out there. So I hope this was useful to you. This was actually from my Friday Fire newsletter, which I send out every Friday at 12 p.m. Pacific. If you want to opt in for the next issue, and if you want to read the old ones, you can go to seananthony.co. And if you go to this newsletter tab, you can opt in here, your first name and email, and then you can read all the previous Friday Fire issues. So I hope that was useful. If it was, give it a like, comment down below with any questions, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.